Well, we're here at the George Wythe House, and we know that in September of 1781, General Washington arrived on September 14th. We know that from several um, documents, Colonel Butler in the Pennsylvania Regiment um, wrote about the arrival of General Washington and about a really large dinner party that was held here that evening. We also know that the house was used as um, the headquarters for General Washington. We imagine it was quite chaotic. The house would have been filled with the aides for General Washington. There would have been other generals here. Washington brought with him his um, liveried servant, um, Billy Lee, who apparently had traveled with Washington to other sites as well. So lots of activity, almost, you might even could say it was like a, a boy's dormitory. Um, lots of bedding, um, extra beds brought in, blankets, linens. Um, you can imagine shaving equipment, writing equipment, uh, eating utensils, uh, lots of noise. Um, just a, a lot of activity going on in the house. We don't know exactly what happened in every space, so we're making our, our, you know, sort of a best guess. There are certain facts that we do know. We do know that there was that large dinner party that happened the first night that Washington arrives. Um, so, and we knew what kind of foods that they would eat on the campaign trail. So we were able to look at documents such as um, journal entries, especially uh, Frenchmen, you know, different French officers that would have described what, what they, how they encountered Washington, what he was like. Uh, what were they eating at these parties? So we know that they often would eat uh, pastry, vegetables, things like that, these really nice elaborate uh, meals. And then they would end the night with wine and a lot of nuts and apples. And they would just sort of drink the night away and, and, and talk and things like that. So we were able to translate those documents into the furnishing plan, which was really exciting. So the dining room is probably one of my favorite rooms just Thank because you. of that. The furnishings in the house are, just to restate, are a mixture of antique and reproduction. And I think that's really important to note. So we were bringing in reproductions we were, um, that we had in-house. We were bringing in reproductions that we had, had made just for the project. And then, of course, we were looking to our own collections and what we had that would um, right. reflect military life. And so I think we were able to pull them all together in a really yeah. convincing manner. The interpreters will be focused on the two weeks that George Washington did use the site as his headquarters, and they will be focused on the wartime chaos that ensued during this period. We've never interpreted the period during the holidays of um, the Washington campaign and the Washington headquarters. So we're focusing on some new activities. Um, we're going to be bringing a program back called Keeping the General Informed, and it's where our young guests get to use quill and ink, and they're going to write letters to not only General Washington, but also to General Rochambeau, who actually used the house during the holiday season after the Yorktown campaign. Um, and we're hoping, hoping to formulate a few more programs for the holiday season.